My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, Today, the Universal Church celebrates the feast of St. Thomas. It is a big feast for us Indians, as our land is privileged to have been evangelized by an apostle who lived with Jesus, walked and talked with Jesus, and moreover, a privileged one who touched the resurrected Jesus, later died for Christ as a martyr. On Easter Sunday, Jesus appeared to the disciples in the absence of Saint Thomas. Jesus was suddenly there, right in their midst, in his risen body. In various ways, the disciples recognized Jesus. He spoke to them with same authority. He loved them as he loved them always. He wished them peace because they were afraid and he entrusted them with new mission. As the Father has sent me, so I send you, receive the Holy Spirit. John chapter 20 verse 21 Thomas would not believe the appearance of Jesus to the disciples, but this was nothing new for Thomas. Today, we need to be grateful to Saint Thomas for doing a considerable favor. By placing his fingers in the wounds of Jesus, his faith was reinforced, got a solid physical, logical and rational proof for the resurrection of Jesus. By his doubting, he cleared all our doubts and led us to deeper understanding of Jesus by his response, My Lord and my God. A lovely prayer that is more than an act of faith. It's also an act of commitment and surrender. The doubting Thomas has become the evangelizing Thomas. Lord Jesus, make my faith more strong and help me say, my Lord and my God. Amen.